We spotted the ocean at the head of the trail. Where are we going? So far away. Hey everyone, I have a quick guitar lesson for you. Uh, my chess buddy on chessvideos.tv, uh, Rob of Riven, Robert. Uh, showed an interest in learning uh, John Mayer's song Walk on the Ocean and I told him I'd do him a little video so this is for you Rob of Riven and anyone else who wants to join you in learning how to play this song I hope the way I do this will help you um, basically you should have a, a capo if you want to do it in the right key and it should be on the fourth fret now you'll notice on my video I do it on the third fret because my vocal cords suck so I don't have much uh, uh, a range so I usually do it there but I can, I can I can do it for training purposes properly for mm -hmm. you I'm sure John Mayer might have something to say about it if you start sliding it down but hey you know you can play it down here if you don't have a capo so just take the same chords I'm doing and just take it down to the regular as if this is the capo for practice and who cares what whether you have a capo or not if you're just trying to learn the song progression you could sing it in a different key but um, if you have a capo, it's better up there. The chords are, I'm going to move up, G, if you, you put your pinky here and your forefinger and middle finger here, that's a G. Uh, there's a C, which is you put your pinky here on the second one, two, three, and you just hit the, the last five strings. Now you'll see me doing it like this, that's because I can hit all six strings. But it's the same chord, so if you see me do that, it's still a C. Okay. And then there's a D, uh, or I'm sorry, there's an A, which you hit the open second, uh, is an A, the second string, and then you hit the next three, and then if you do it properly, you do it like this with the open E on the bottom, this one's open. But I do it like this, or I'll do it like this. It's the same thing, okay? That's an A. And then there's an E minor. Which an E is like this, one, two, three. I hope you can see all this. An E minor is like this. There's a step up, so it's this. Then you take your finger off and you go. It's a little bit of a finesse. That's in the uh, chorus. And then um, there's a D chord, which you hit the last four strings to make a D. D is going to be one, two, three, like that. So it goes like this. Uh, when I play a G, a lot of times I'll put my two fingers together here, but that's still a G. It just sounds a little bit different. It's adding this little... I just like that sound a little better. You can also do it without even switching stuff around. A lot of people will do it like this. same thing but I like the full chords walk on the ocean step on the stone
that's it. Short version. Hope that helps. Any questions, just email me or, or, or send me up a uh, uh, whatever, uh, a comment. Appreciate it, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got something out of this Robert Ribbon. Thanks for your support. Don't even have pictures. Just memories to hold. Grow sweeter each season. As we slowly grow.